This video has been designed to provide you with some support for some of the forums you might see throughout your course. The forums we will be discussing are discussion forums and Q&A forums. If you take a look here, you will see some forums created by an instructor to provide support for the course. We have the news and announcements forum in which an instructor can provide updates about the course, for example, reminders about due dates. An instructor might want to set up a, a virtual office in which students can ask que questions about due dates for an assignment, and an instructor can simply answer those questions. And then there's the student lounge in which students can interact with each other by introducing themselves, providing some background information, and just getting to know each other in the class a little bit more to develop some rapport. Let's take a look at an example of a forum within a module. If you take a look here, you'll see the forum icon, which is uh, a pair of dialog boxes. And then you will see um, the topic, which is environmental concerns. Once I click on the discussion forum link, I will see some information about some of the posts. I have a discussion topic. I have the name of the person that the post was created by. I have the number of replies uh, associated with the post. This group area is associated with a particular group you may be assigned to depending on the course, but for right now there's no group name. And then if you take a look, you can also see uh, when the last post was and by that person. Let's go ahead and click on the uh, discussion post topic and reply to this post. Once I click on the discussion topic link, it now brings me to a threaded view of, of the discussion post. So I see discussion about plant cells, just to prompt a discussion. And then in order to reply to this post, I simply click reply. We're now brought to a message box, our HTML editor, where we can enter a post. So I'm just going to type plants are, and then whatever you may want to post about that. Now you may be responding to um, the thoughts of another student, or you may be responding to um, a reading uh, that you may have done for that week. Let's scroll down a little further and take a look at some of our options. Let's take a look here with the subscription option. Um, you're going to want to be aware if you want to receive emails about each post that's posted to the forum. If you don't want to receive emails for each post, you can simply click, I don't want email copies of posts to this forum. And this area here is where you can attach uh, files uh, for your post, such as a PDF file or a Word file, um, maybe to provide some evidence of some of the resources that you've utilized for your response. We then click post a forum, and then you will be notified you have one hour to edit any for any changes you want to make to your post. After one hour, that post will be become permanent. And now we have a threaded view of all the discussion posts. Here's the original post discussion about plant cells, and then this is the post we just created, plants are. Um, so this just gives you a view of what it's going to look like um, when you initiate a discussion and then when you respond to a discussion. You'll see that the uh, response is slightly indented if you're uh, responding to um, a post that's already been uh, put into the forum. Now for a Q&A forum, we have a little bit of a different setup. The Q&A forum can be utilized to check for understanding. So as an instructor, you can provide a question to check for understanding, and then in order for the student uh, to see other responses, um, they have to reply first just so they uh, won't be able to see um, the responses from other students. So I'll click on this discussion topic, Capital of New York, and then the question is, what is the Capital of New York? And as a student, I simply click Reply. And then I can put my message here, and then scroll to the bottom. Um, again, I don't want email copies. That's just me. And then post to forum. One hour to make any changes. It just is before. 
and now I would be able to see responses from other students, but I, uh, for a Q&A form, would have to uh, respond in, other to, in order to see um, other responses. And so this concludes the uh, video on forums.